Yeah. So, um, is it that you intentionally decided to be alone, or what was your concept behind it? Yeah, I'm taking a break from dating at the moment. You know what I'm going to say when they dump you? Not on that line. I mean, <laughs> no, no, no. That's true, I'm actually. taking a break because they actually both me in the process. Exactly. <laughs> I'm resting. They're yeah, resting now. Yeah. For how long have you been resting? For about three months. Three months? What happened? Why did you go and rest? What happened? You're tired, though. The guy is drinking. You can't leave two single people in, in one place. <laughs> they just. The, the single people are always very hopeful. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this is the end of my singularity. Yeah. How far? How's good? <laughs> Hey! Hello! How are you doing? I'm Say fine. as I shook you, I don't go fishing. Hey! <laughs> Brothers and sisters, hi guys, how are you doing? So I'm supposed to be like the same person on today. Okay, yeah, you're saying so, you know, like. <clears throat> ah, me too! <laughs> okay, alright. So, um, it's your brethren in my OMG, and yeah, this is something new that I'm trying to test my hands on, you know. And you're welcome to, what's the name of the show, sir? The show has, I don't know. All right, <clears throat> so that would be the name of the show. <laughs> what is the name of the show? So you're yeah, welcome to know, what sir. is the name of the show. <laughs> and I'm your host. So um, we're just going to be talking about relatable things. And this first set of series is going to be very interesting. You know, like um, I'm, I'm the only one that is different on this set. Do you understand? Like I've made it because I'm married. <laughs> Apparently, you know, in Nigeria nowadays, like you have, if you have ring, you have made it. The sure. other people are struggling. You get sure. so, but I, you know, from from my throne of maidmanship hmm. in marriage, hmm. I look down on people like this, and I'm like, how you look down on me? You look down on people that are happy. You look down on people that can live their life. Exactly. People, people, people that can say they are going somewhere and not tell anybody. <laughs> Okay, yes, fine, now. Fine. Don't leave that one. Free that one. I'm offended. But, okay. but to be more, to, to more seriously, Sha, more seriously. <clears throat> and that's that's the whole essence of this first set of series. So I'm tagging this. Why are you single? I'm still going to get to introduce these singles to you here, but I just wanted to explain the concept. You you know that small joke I made in the beginning. That's the way a lot of people see things, and they see it like. Once you are not with somebody or you are single, like there's something wrong with you. Do you understand? Or you are, and they it like the married people have it all together. Do you understand? So that is what we we are we want to do this show to try to break down. You get, and this is the most talk I'm going to be doing because I, I also want to learn. Do you understand? So I have with me two single people here today, and the name, the um, the title of this particular series is going to be called "Why Are You Single?" So um, let's do ladies first. Um, um, please. Um, what I what, another thing I did, another thing I did, I made sure I got people that are really doing well. You get so, so if I did not get it, it doesn't mean you are not doing well. You know, <laughs> but the people that are doing well, that I know of, and I'll let you know why eventually when we get to the end of the show. So we have the very beautiful, um, intelligent, model looking Hawa right here. Please introduce Hello. yourself, <laughs> my brother. <laughs> see, see, you are too open. Cool. You, you came here with a mission, it's like you want to end this your singularity here. Ah. Anyways, Hawa. Hi guys, my name is Hawa Ahmed and I am single. I guess that's my tag for today, single. <laughs> what do you do? Well, I am a YouTuber currently. I'm also a sales promoter yeah. and I'm also into voiceovers. Oh, nice, nice. You, you're done with school, yeah? Definitely. What did you study? Accounting. Accounting. Oh, nice. So, girls and counting and money. <laughs> To my left here, he doesn't need any introductions. To star boy, superstar, you know, um, comedian, MC, yeah. compare. What's the difference between MC and compare? If compare is supposed to call people up on stage, just the body, MC can call Nigeria, we just put pack everything on our head. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> and we got me, ladies and gentlemen. Yay! And I'm into, like, well, he's into, and I'm into our, um, no. I'm into Hawa. Wow. That's how I started and I met myself here. So yeah, yeah. you're on the right path, you're on the right path. So um, let's just take it hands on. First of all, let me start with Hawa. Why are you single? Well, I've just, like I told him earlier, I'm taking a break from dating. It's, mm. it's been a struggle, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Dating is the ghetto. Why are you laughing? Um, <laughs> it is struggle to keep up with love. You see, you see the work. The struggle. Oh, I, I struggle not to laugh. Sorry. You know, when you meet a girl and the guy says he's taking a break, 
I'm telling you. Take it literally. Because she took a break. It's a break. Of the heart. It's a dumping. No, I'm over that now. I'm over that. It's done with. I'm just trying to better myself more and you know, I know the right person will come along. I have this belief that it is while I'm pursuing my dreams and achieving my goals, that's when I'm going to meet my person. The greatest philosophers mm. will ever meet in life <laughs> are single people. Mm. Yeah. But um let's let's take it from taking a break. Define taking a break. What does that mean? It means after a relationship does not work out, you take some time to analyze. So the kind of person I am, I'm very analytic. I'm taking some time to, you know, sort through the positive and the negative and why it came about and how to make sure that it does <laughs> not happen again. Aristotle. Basically. <laughs> on, top, I'm I'm on, top, on top, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> on top, the guy is saying I'm done with the relationship. <laughs> Aristotle. I'm good to you. I'm good to you. So this, this, how long have you been taking this break for? About three months. Oh, so you were in a relationship three months ago? Yes, I was. How long did the relationship last for? Less than three months. Ah. So what happened? Um, he cheated, apparently. Hmm. Like, how did you know he cheated? He told me. He told you he cheated? Yeah. He told you? He told this is me. a guy that wants to find No, nope, no, with me. So, wait, you, like... It's not like you saw anything before he told you. He just called you up one day and, and like, babe, yeah. I cheated. So you don't even know. Uh, if you tell me you cheat, what do you want me to say then? Oh, no. I can't That's deal. So no, that before the relationship it. started, I, he already knew that cheating is a deal breaker for me. Wow. I cannot ever condone so, it. So, no, sorry, I'm getting so, somewhere. So, like, before he told you, you didn't know he cheated. You didn't, you, you know. So I mean, he was acting up, but I just... Because you know you're busy with life, also you want to. So believe. if he did not tell you cheated, you won't have known. Yeah. I don't I'm getting somewhere. So what if he did not really cheat? What if he just wanted to escape from the relationship because he knows that your deal breaker is cheating? So if he just says I cheated, you know. Well, from, well, yeah, good on him. To be honest, like you don't have to stay with somebody you shouldn't. You you know you don't love or so yeah, it's fine. Even if he didn't cheat. It's fine. I can't stay with somebody that is not even honest to begin with. So. We, are, we are coming back to that. I'm picking something from what you said. You don't have to stay with somebody that you don't have to stay with. Let me yeah. put it that way. Brethren. Yeah, yes, please. You know, like, you are not doing bad. You are doing well, you know, for a young guy. Do you understand? Especially um, in the Africa we are right now. I mean, parents right now, you guys can be talking like our parents. You know, they say <laughs> when a young man... Mm -hmm. has gotten to the stage where he's supposed to have a cutlass. He's supposed to have a cutlass. Mm -hmm. When he has gotten to the stage where he's supposed to... Have a hope. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say that, now I realized that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, so why don't you have a cutlass? Why are you single? Oh, okay, the cutlass. <laughs> 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 because like talking like parents mm. right now you, you know the first the, at least as a guy the first bone of contention with parents is for you to be doing well and everything once you're doing well and mm. small change is flowing here and there the next there's no breath there's no break next thing is how far start so family. why are you saying so one part that people don't really know about me mm -hmm. very few when we get talking like to intimate issues or about very close talk i have not seen in my head yeah, the real purpose for marriage hmm so one day <laughs> no so that's the first step now if you want to find like relationships should lead somewhere what do you feel how yeah definitely yeah. sometimes when people are like dating when they are 17 or 18 and they're planning on getting married like in the next two three years it's just because you want in quotes an official touching partner it's not anything it's just i that's disagree what... actually uh -huh. so when you're with somebody i think the main purpose of being with anybody to begin with is to have somebody to share a life with life is lonely oh. growing up is lonely adult old is hard so if you have somebody that you know is definitely in your corner it makes it quite easier so it's in 79 they're actually lucky if you ask i wish i started dating that early sorry when, uh -huh. to be honest, when, when was your first relationship how old were you i was 19 or 20. what's the difference between 18 and 19. That's different. So what, you, what were you so what was the plan 
What, what, were you in school in 19 and when you were 19? Yes, school, yes. No, no, I was in university. Oh, okay. I was in my third year. So what was like, so the relationship, what was in your own mind? What did you want from that relationship? From the relationship in my own I actually dated like an older person. The person wasn't in school anymore. Mm. So it was like I was benefiting in a lot of ways. Let for me just get, let like us know those a lot of ways. You were telling no, me I've been no, why are you getting like those are those those a lot of ways. Yes, tell us, tell us. No, Ways like it was smarter, definitely. I learned so a lot. So the whole, all the boys or the men in your school was not smart. Like so that is not. You know, see somebody like me. I like really confident, put together people. So the what is what's the name of what school did you finish from? National Open University. Actually. What year was that? This like uh, twenty. 11, 12, So, um, sorry, how far <laughs> does National Open University? I did not. Every guy. No. Goes to National Open oh University. Oh my God. In they 2011. I want to say all of you. I'm not like that. Together. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. My point is that, you know, when people, not everybody will approach you, no matter how smart they are. And not everybody will want a relationship with you. So, the people that approached me, I wasn't interested. Do you understand? So it happens okay. like that. Like we're getting like it's, it's <laughs> to get ahead of myself. It's okay. Know? Like it's breaking a lot of me. I was, <laughs> me, I was shy explaining something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Good. So oftentimes I feel that they always want an official touch pattern. That's why if you ask them what they are doing, it's just companionship at that moment. They don't even know the end goal. Companionship is and like I really it. think people need to understand and find end goals, but they don't really know it. Now, I sometimes when you see that guys are married, eh? I have a couple of my friends now that are getting married. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of my friends. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. No, for me, I'm not. Like, no, no, for me, I'm like, you guys, because I see money, I'm not a guy. Like, on the number one day, before you get married, you could have been like, maybe going to Ghana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Guy, come now, now you're seeing change. You feel like you want to marry guys are like two, three years older than me in that category. Some of my mates, I'm like, ah, why? You're doing what? What are you doing? I'm getting, you're getting married, guy. You you're taking a risk. Average figure for the age. So guys are like 27. And you don't feel 27 is old enough to get married. Okay, so I I don't know, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there with something. Okay, okay. What right. I feel is this eh? The when these guys get married, eh? These guys are married. The 29s, mm -hmm. the thirties that are married, not like thirties. Arubo or Joe, but it's not like you're very old when you're 30. But mm -hmm. like, if you had started making money earlier and you're comfortable, you started a relationship, it's enough time for you to know how to contain somebody, in quotes. But you see, these guys here, they get married and they are almost still like me in how they are freestyling with babes. That's horrible. So, chill, so, chill, so, chill, 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 chill. Mm, like you, define. So, what what does it mean to be like you, freestyling with babes? Oh, ah, sorry, not like me. <laughs> No, 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 you need to explain, no, 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 you need to explain, you need to explain, sorry, sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. Ah. I'm sorry, don't worry, this is the confession ground. Oh, yeah, yeah just for now. Okay, so, like, you're still like me, eh? First of all, you flirt like me, not you, not the guys. <laughs> <laughs> you're flirting like me, you meet one baby, you're just, hey, what are you doing, huh? Your name is what, Tosin? Oh, my God. <laughs> I would love to sing with you. <laughs> <laughs> you are, you are <laughs> I like it. Oh you are trying God. different lines with this babe. And the guy will not come home early because he doesn't want to meet the wife. The wife is happy when you guys go married, right? But it's trying to delay until 11 30 to 12. As a married guy, you guys are feeling like what you need to do around 10 p.m. But the guy said, Come now, gist go there. Now you go get gist for me. <laughs> I don't have any gist you go get for me. <laughs> Just to delay. This is real, yeah? Real life. <laughs> real life. I mean, that also boils down to the issue that I have in my mind that okay. men do not marry for love. Honestly. Men marry the people. People that are there when they think they are ready. No, no, yes. no, no. Yes, because no. if you intentionally pick somebody to love and cherish, mm. you will not even. I mean, of course, you don't. You're not blind. You'll be attracted to people, but you will not act on it. Never. You never disrespect. No, how, 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 how? I need to understand how guys. Okay, don't use me to judge guys. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'll use your friend no, to judge uh, guys. No, you just use like, you know, the majority. I say most men, it's not like everybody. When you say there are some guys that don't get interested in other women once they find one. There are real people like that, real life. Yeah. So, you're yeah, looking at one right here. Let's <laughs> 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 So, 
First things first, eh? I want you to know that the reason why I said that most guys marry sometimes, most guys, is because people can start to tell you that you're making money, you are, you are growing older. Mm -hmm. Your children should not be too little while you are old. Mm -hmm. So you're still, fit, you're still fit enough to cater for them. Yeah. So that's always the pressure, the African setting, it kind of, it's growing up, it's just society that's kind of built it that way. You don't even exactly. know. So you start when you get to a certain age, you start to think that, come already getting some money. I'm sorry, there are people that are not even really earning enough to really take care of themselves and have extras, but they're like, we'll grow together, me and the woman will mm -hmm. grow. It's because you feel like that's the time to do it, that time is going do this thing society oh, wants you to do you love the person and no the second love is the fewer really? options like what i'm telling you fewer numbers of people most, fewer yes so the, in your opinion what's the percentage most guys no no i'm okay so i'll say 80. 80 say, percent that's of why you have more men cheating because they didn't really <clears throat> want to do it is because they just felt like it's time to like everybody's asking them kini and now where is your wounds you bring i mean this is very yeah. elucidating coming from a man yourself and i've always wondered yeah. that why is it that some men mm. because okay from semi-personal experience a friend of mine mm. she was dating a guy they were supposed to get married but then the guy decided to marry another girl his first girlfriend why exactly no you so have I'm, to ask now you have no, to say from one angle not, now you have no, to ask the guy whether that your friend used to suck blood you have to find out what it your can't friend. be i know my friend she's a calm person mm. but the guy is the one that has the issue like why? how do men pick who to. No, no, how, and why is it that if a man says oh this relationship i want it to go further that is mm. when it will go further but if it's like uh, let's just be let's just be friends with benefits for, eh? for instance then it will stay no, why is a woman no 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 in no, a relationship not, not, not mattering ma matter. no no is that why does the woman accept to be a friend with benefit if she doesn't even fancy it it's because she's hoping so the ladies have to understand that their self-esteem, their self-value have to be beyond what a man thinks that they should give to them. Exactly. Ladies have to really understand their values and say, I know what I want, I know I'm not going to risk it. But because ladies have been like, oh, you don't even know this one that you have in your hand. Now, this devil let that me, you know, let, let, me, keep me, let me just keep him on the hours, guys, out there. It's dead. true, though. Then, now, let me go back to one very obvious line. I'm sorry, sir, please, but brother. Now, there's one very obvious thing, eh? Yeah. That almost everybody knows. Ladies, eh? Yeah. You, if you move to the ladies that go married to guys that you feel like, ah, I please. beneath them. No, so every hey, please everybody we are equal, hmm? <coughs> but we kind of have like taste and standards for how we see some certain people. Like those guys that are, like running conductors in buses, they're not lesser than you. But a lady that works with a very big financial firm, and she's might, a boss, not might not align because be a lot of there's a lot of disparity in the scope yeah. and how the reason and things they talk about. So that kind of thing. Ladies, eh, when you say lady marry a guy that you think is out of her league, no, no, lower than her league or something, eh? Ask ladies often times. Ask them that just go marry you. Ladies eh, end up settling for who is ready to marry them when they are growing older. Yeah. That 29, 30 starts to look like a dangerous time. They start to feel like, and it's not really dangerous, but because it of childbearing, it's, it's not really dangerous. Sorry, but, yeah. you agree with what you just said? I mean, I am. Want, I want to hear in land. land, yes. Okay, also but so plan. far, but sorry, before you proceed, guys, just drop it, drop ladies, especially drop a comment based on that. Is that true? Do you think when you get to a particular age, your you standards reduce? reduce yes, just that because we hear, I've heard it, especially with jokes, people crack jokes with it, like as you they reach 30, 31, yeah, you Stop. go come out, okay, Lord, don't worry, remove this. I will, so, do remove you, the do, abs. Do you think, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> you think ladies drop standards when they get older just to get settled, you know? Mm. But before you continue, with all this, you've not still answered my question. It's Why are you single? Though. Okay, so uh, because I'm not a senior goal, eh? I, if it's about having like people to talk to, like you say, someone you can share goals with. You have numerous. I have guys. So why are you, you've not still told us, why are you single? Uh, so, like, she said companionship, eh? You, you can talk to why people go into that relationship. Hmm? No, no, I'm telling you that. You can talk to and cuddle with them. Hey, I'm touch back, man. I'm telling you. Touch, you don't touch what you're trying to say. I'm telling you. No, there's just Wait another now. level of intimacy unlocked when you can be, you know, closer hmm. to, to some, somebody. Let's, let's, well, I'll let, I'm getting there. Yeah, well, I need to have your reason. Yes, yeah, so my own reason, eh, first of all, is that marriage and go. So that, because where is it going to lead to? It has to lead somewhere. To marry. So hey, so I'm not yet. So I'm not yet seeing when I when I really really think that okay, this is 
I want to stay with this person and not be afraid of flirting with another lady or talking to another lady or just saying, ah, this girl, I didn't get disturbing me online. What do you feel? What's so up? the reason why you feel you don't believe in marriage is because you feel you, you, are, you can't really stick to one person yet. Exactly. Then that's... Ah! Oh my lord, now that's the first point. How I pay to our way okay, to please okay. just wait. <laughs> well, what then? Second, oh, you see, the end of the day, you never know, just enter there, you end up like mm, I don't want to enter there, I don't yeah. to respect that woman to the end. Now, I think it might actually maybe yours because mm-hmm. I can't speak for everybody. Might actually be, you know, that thing that they say, I'm a very romantic person, oh. and I believe in romance a lot. Mm-hmm. So maybe it's your name, or when you see the person, you will know, like, as soon well, as you see the person that you can no. know, monogamous until with. me, I'm ready. Oh, it's not about that's what I'm saying. Hold it might not be about you. Hold that thought. You are very romantic. You you get into relationship because of cuddling too and everything. Partly because of cuddling, you like to cuddle. You are very physical. Yeah, I'm very physical. Oh, do you do you think that maybe partly? How many relationships have you been in so far? Roughly five. Five. Okay, between space of how many years? Five years. Okay, speaking as a guy. Some last about. Uh, no. But do you kind of think that talking as a guy too, do you kind of think that probably part of why guys eventually get uninterested is because there's there's really nothing else to kind of look forward to in terms of physicals? Because I've heard that. And you know what you believe. Yeah, definitely. I've heard that. And the thing is I've heard from a lot of people that you know play hard to get you know, like when you play hard to get or you know when you start dating give them ultimatum you know the three months rule and all of that and i you know they may have a point because i've been doing it my way and you know they work mm. so but, what, but i don't what, like pretending yeah yeah, yeah. Or, but what the point i'm trying to even make is is it not possible to have a good relationship dating without, without physicals sex. Definitely. It's possible. I know somebody that did not have sex so they got married. So it's definitely possible. Not for me, but it's possible. Okay. Okay. All right. Now back to the lover boy. (laughs) (laughs) You. Mm. Back to the lover boy, yeah? Okay. If I'm looking for people, someone I can really talk to and share very close ideas with, eh? And help me grow. Like, find a woman that will help you grow. Find somebody that will do this and grow. Because the kind of work I do with showbiz, you are lucky to have somebody that is even inclined towards it so that's what it is when you find that person you just look like it's your friend that's just moving on with you no, yeah, um, your colleague do you, let me help you out okay. do, do you um are, are you at this phase of your life where you just realize that there are just so many fine girls out there in the world yeah. do you understand and you're just like where, where are we going to leave all these girls to if we decide to just Ma, stick, stick to one well, let's you help understand? the ecosystem so let's still stay and you know. But you know that. No, 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 I'm getting some. Let me choose the ecosystem. So, um, have you been in any relationship before? Yes, one, a few moments. And now it's just because people influenced me to go into it. So, and I kind so, of like the so, what happened? I That was when I officially got serious with stand up comedy. And she, I would not really blame her, but she used to have like many moments episodes that is but as smooth swings and all those stuff and it was because of home so i'm not a person that wants to manage your own emotion <laughs> while i've not so i didn't come because of emotions so would you agree would you agree that you are not just really ready for any commitment yes sir <laughs> yes <laughs> this, you have you guys, also, have the words out you, of my lungs would you also agree that you know maybe not only you style but maybe you have some emotional maturing to do mm-hmm. because every human being or every being in fact is paired excuse me is paired. i wouldn't sit here every, wait I'm, I'm getting some every being is paired even coming. animals are paired <laughs> do you understand so if you are not saying oh only for you i want seven chicks to be following me for me to feel like I'm not a, feel help the ecosystem which ecosystem needs no. your help no, okay, so but you though. think how yes. you said that and even animals that have pairing I know what you're trying to do there to tell me that even the lower um, organisms have 
Okay. So that is that is mating. So it's just for procreation. So if it's, it's that, not if only for about... procreation because there are penguins that actually stay together forever. Swans mate for life. Mm. There are many animals that mate for life. Fewer animals that get to uh, amongst the large numbers that get to choose a partner and mate. But for if life. animals we don't can share ideas that... and, and make buildings. But if I, if animals can career. even if animals can <laughs> even do that, the yeah. thought of mating for life can even cross the mind of, of a lesser being mm. like an animal. Mm. What more does a human? No. Want? So what happened is that nobody forced the swan to start. No, to I'm find not saying. Should no, force. so yeah, I'm. I'm not sure how our. No, no, no. This our, is you have to be sure this, that this person wants to do this thing. This is not only about you, you know. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, guys. Trying, I'm trying to say for guys, uh, like hey, guys, stay good. with stay with one person. You guys make it seem like oh, it is this you know hard thing to do. It's not that hard. If a girl can stay with one, g- although I'm not saying that women do not cheat, uh, but I'm saying majority of men are the ones that find it most difficult to settle down with one person. And it's not that hard if you ask why, me. Why, why, why is it not that hard? Let, let me say what I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You people know that I know this. I know that. So, I've never been to nothing. So, <laughs> so this, this is our first episode, so we never get it, never get fit. But what I can pick out from this episode, from these two species of sing- singlets that are sat- <laughs> <a> single, <laughs> um, she is single because of him. Apparently, do you understand? Yes, men like you, you him. Like, because you don't, you are not ready to be. Yeah, no, 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 no. You get, and if you now end up finding yourself with someone like this that really wants to cuddle, I start to talk to her one. You know. You know, you, you, so you find yourself in a relationship, relationship with somebody like this that is in the relationship for companionship hmm. and for cuddles. The cuddles will appeal to you more and everything, but once you're done with the cuddling, you need to move on to the next person you need to cuddle and your heart will be broken again and you end up being on the street. So I think you are influencing each other in your singularity. If you... I think so. <laughs> That's does that make sense? Does that make it sense? It does. So That's if we are going to live by this episode, although we are going to have a couple more episodes, but if we are going to live by... The, by this episode then mm. we'll, um, we'll, we can agree that ladies are single because guys just keep on breaking their hearts because guys are not ready to settle down well, we are no, not the no, only no, problem no 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 i'm saying if we are going to agree for this, this episode, episode. I mean, guys, you understand? Okay. i'm talking as a neutral person here you understand? Yeah, so so for this episode then ladies keep being single because they've never found that guy that wants to settle but like I'm, you, that's the same thing you said. Yeah, yeah, you you like my it. guys help me grow. I can talk to my colleagues. They help me grow. We're on the same career path. They help me grow. I, I don't know. Do you want to say you? So you have said you, all you the women you've ever, you've ever met. Nobody yeah. has been interested in your career so and your growth. Okay, I've met a lady that's interested in my career, and but oftentimes than not, you don't find ladies. Few is is it's it's scarce to find a lady that wants to help you push your dreams and not worried about how your dreams will influence her time with you. You sound really selfish. So okay. what about our own and dreams? No, what are we alone now? That's why no, 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 that's why you so have your to guys, be alone. So your guys' dreams and your dreams, are they on a pedestal too? No, no, they're they're like, like, no, no, my guys are like... Exactly, so okay, the women's dreams too. Because you have to go. Because <laughs> you have to go. <laughs> But I, I just want to be quickly say something. So you, you are saying the companionship you can get it from your guys and all that and everything, you know. Uh, yes, yes, saying, about the talking and growing. Are you this is this is not growing. So you've not had any form of female interaction, like or, or how do you so that go how, beyond how, the physical? So what do you do? So with women, do you even have female friends? Do you, do, no, chill, 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 chill. <laughs> at this, okay, at this point, let's let's ask the questions. Let's ask the questions because we're about to round up. So mm. what I want to ask you, so you don't believe yet, you've not seen the reason to the, to having a relationship. So you've not had any like it's been a while. You've not had any relationship at this. So I I agree with that. The one of the main essence of um is, is essence is a word. of having this is to let a lot of people know that there's actually no problem in being single yeah but it's majorly about your thought pattern so what i want to say about you being single is if you i feel if you want to be single be single fully do you understand but what i want to ask you now Mm. is in this your singularity Mm. will you say all through how single you've been there's not been any female interaction or you are eating your cake and having it if you know what 
Do you understand? Like, real life. Real life. Like, real life. So, the thing is, I'm happily married to my wife. I thank God, you know. And um, I'm, we are going to round up. Round up. No, 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 no. See, we are going to round up on that, blah, blah, blah. But I've kind of been at where he's talking about now, which I will give you my advice just before we go. Just for the essence of people watching and everything, you know. Mm. But I've had times that I didn't want any commitment and everything. And even at the end of the day, I was the one that was will now start having feelings and the girl will put me in my place that this is not the agreement. Do you understand? Wow. So they, they are girls like that, you get. Which is I don't think is the best thing from my from where I'm standing, you get. But um so to round up, what 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 do you what would be your advice for yourself right now? Do you think you still do you think you are doing something wrong? Like in terms of how you've been approaching relationships or yeah. what you have been wanting from relationships i think one of the things i'm doing wrong i'm doing multiple things wrong but the major thing that i think i'm doing wrong is i am projecting my expectations and standards on the person that wants me basically so i look at a man he's talking to me and even though he's not exactly who i want him to be i am that was piercing yeah, we keep it going. Um, Una, please go and get the person at the door downstairs. So continue, please. Who was I? Yeah, so, um, a man is talking to you. Yeah, yeah. If he's not. a man is talking to me, and even though he's not exactly who I want him to be, I project my standards on him. I'm like, oh, you know, you can you can actually be this person and be this person and do this and do this for me. Eventually, I need to start, you know, taking people for who oh, they yeah. are now and i might be agreeing with what you said earlier like um just because you want to be in something you reduce your standards exactly. and all that you know so so that we because we need to get to the next let's let's just have <laughs> maybe i will have you guys again because i like the vibe here but i, I like just her. i like her <laughs> i like Excuse her <laughs> <laughs> so for you from where i stand i i feel or let me start with you as guy to guy okay um i feel you know um if it's, it's okay to be single but if you want to be single be single with your full chest in this in the sense that because even uh, because ladies are more emotionally um what's that word set up than guys do you understand although there are some ladies say where they have chest um, strong backs guys but mm -hmm. it's it's even as a guy in as much as you feel like yeah you are just there on the streets by your, and you are letting everybody know as it is and everything it's inevitable for you to break hearts do you understand and a lot of heartbreaks are going how many heartbreaks have you experienced um out of the five out of the five just just no not out of the five, five. Because if, your life, I had, if i had in my life just give me the number ha huh? just give me the number because this is including <laughs> just give me the number <laughs> no don't worry no explanation <laughs> just give me the number just give me the number <laughs> about 14. no it's not that much 13. no number, number, number. 12. i'll try to make it like a mental round of Okay, like about seven. Out of the five, nice. Yeah. How many? How many? <laughs> how many? <laughs> how many? <laughs> she says, stand up. How many heartbreaks have you had? One. Do you understand? So even from this. Because they're the one doing the heartbreak. So even from this, so from this episode one, I'm not going to talk to them again. You, maybe I'll have you guys again. <laughs> yes, because we will not end here. So young ladies listening out there, if there's anything we can pick up from this, first of all. The, the the fact that the show is titled why are you single does not mean there's anything wrong with you being single yeah it's cool you can be single yeah but like know what you're looking for in a relationship and personally especially from my personal experience i would actually even advise for you to be single for the purpose of self-discovery yeah. be single to the to the point that you get to find yourself and love yourself and know what you want and everything when you really know yourself very very much and know yourself what and all that then you know that no matter what i will never accept this from anybody do you understand and when you have the love do you understand you have the love you are looking for you already love yourself and everything and um let me slot it in god do you understand god is major love like if you have god the love is do you understand so if that love is not absent then 
you are a lot of people look for relationship for completion do you understand but it's, mm. it should not mm. be to complete you do you understand when you are already completed you just look for another completed person and you continue the completion and everything so to avoid breakfast you know they say go go while i'm at breakfast everybody go talk breakfast now breakfast is heart break you say you have seven break i've been over fed you, you won't believe fed. you won't believe that counting i think i had i think i had up to like maybe six seven heart breaks too but we, today's not my talk of story and everything you know so ladies from this episode you can re, you can see that guys like ovi godwin are the reason why girls like um um, um how i keep getting set breakfast back to back and everything you know it's and, not back to back no, it's not back to back seven over five is back oh, <laughs> it's back to front so, <laughs> final lap on the list ladies especially um, um place your priorities like right let find yourself you know discover yourself find god love god and everything and love yourself fully such that um you no guy can tamper with your emotions and whatever do you understand and you know me looking for what is not lost in a relationship so that when you eventually get a relationship it will be the relationship that is, that is for you do you understand and to lead where you want it to lead to your next relationship where like when are you hoping that you get in a relationship next Man, I don't know. <laughs> do, you think, do, you, do you think do you think you will still be happy in your next relationship? Or do you think you've learned enough from those seven experiences? Unfortunately, it's not entirely up to me. Up so to me. God will help me. We so there's still a chance that they might be happy in there. Anyways, and guys, so, God, use me. so guys, um Ovi, it's it's very relatable. It's very there's just a a, 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 a time in your life where you just feel like I mean, young guy, things are happening. You know, like I said, when the time that our parents feel like, okay, we've started making money and it's time for us to move on. That's when we guys feel like, let me just enjoy my. Do you understand? There are mm-hmm. a lot of fine girls there and everything you get, but mm-hmm. I feel like, in all fairness, to be fair as a guy, think of, you know, there, there's this proverb they say, person way they shit, no, no, it's in do, not person way pack up. Mm-hmm. They know the effects. <laughs> do you understand? So think of the resultant effect of. Even that you're chilling around and not wanting to get into any commitment, think of the resultant effect is going to get on the ladies at the end of the day. You get, but we're not reaching any conclusion with this. I think we might do one more episode with both of you. What do you feel? Go girl, go like, girl. Because good. today has been <laughs> today has been that here or there. It has been plenty, plenty argument and talking around <laughs> and everything. You know. So now that we already know each other, you guys, there's a pre set, a pre scene, pre something mm. to talk our next talk on you get so we're not going to have any conclusion based on these two singlets here today there'll be a part two all right so watch out for that <laughs> but um next week by those reasons i'm going to have another lady and another guy come and tell us why they are single and their ideas of singularity till we get them to that time i'm sorry that um, i'm a bit rusty with this this is my first attempt at trying to be ill yep. not really i hope that here already it's been, a while. it's been a while so we till we come next time what's the name of the show again the name of the show is what's the name of the show what is the name of the show all right see you on the next episode of the show what should we call the name of the show what is the show what is the name of the show or or what's this show what's this show so we should call it what's this show yes what's this show all right so till we come your way same time next week on (laughs) what's this this show show? (laughs) (laughs) i'll leave you guys again bye bye so you can don't leave us alone no aligned guy bye Hey, no, God. but be that than me, like at least I like, six four. I don't understand what kind of color you're calling. One inch. What? Anyways, so today I decided to bring crazy people to.